Hanak Enoch 15. Then addressing me, he spoke and said, Hear, neither be afraid, O righteous Hanak, you scribe of righteousness. Approach hither and hear my voice. Go say to the watchers of heaven who have sent you to pray for them. You ought to pray for men and not men for you. Wherefore have you forsaken the lofty and holy heaven which endures forever and have lain with women, have defiled yourselves with the daughters of men, have taken to yourselves women, have acted like the sons of the earth, and have begotten giants. You being spiritual, holy, and possessing a life which is eternal, have polluted yourselves with women, have begotten in carnal blood, have lusted in the blood of men, and have done as those who are flesh and blood do. These, however, die and perish. Therefore, have I given to them women that they might cohabit with them, that sons might be born of them, and that this might be transacted upon earth? But you, from the beginning, were made spiritual, possessing a life which is eternal and not subject to death forever. Therefore I made not women for you, because, being spiritual, your dwelling is in heaven. Now the giants, who have been born of the Ruach and of flesh, shall be called upon earth evil Ruachot, and on earth shall be their habitation. Evil Ruachot shall proceed from their flesh, because they were created from above. From the holy watchers was their beginning and primary foundation. Evil Ruachot shall they be upon earth. And the Ruchot of the wicked shall they be called. The habitation of the Ruachot of heaven shall be in heaven, but upon earth shall be the habitation of terrestrial Ruachot who are born on earth. The Ruachot of the giants are like Nephilim, which shall oppress, corrupt, fall, content, and bruise upon earth. They shall cause lamentation. No food shall they eat, and they shall be thirsty. They shall be concealed, and shall rise up against the sons of men, and against women, for they come forth during the days of slaughter and destruction.